cellists, hello. Today we're going to start working on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. This is the first piece that I introduce to new students, whether you're 30, whether you're three years old, this is one of the first things that you're going to learn how to play. Hopefully you've already looked at the other videos to see about cello posture, you've got some left hand and some right hand exercises, and we're going to start now playing some music. So Twinkle Twinkle, um, I strongly recommend that when you're first starting out, you isolate the left hand and the right hand. As soon as you start putting that bow on the string, you're going to have problems, breakdowns in posture and positioning. Um, if you'll learn to get the left hand isolated, correct, and then the right hand isolated and correct, then when you put them together, then your, your brain has simplified everything and you're able to be successful right from the start. You know, this is one of the great analogies I use with my students is if you're teaching someone to golf, don't start at the tee, start at the hole. Right? If you can putt from this far out, then maybe you can putt from this far out, and then maybe you can get off of the green, and then you can work your way to the hole. You're always being successful. Um, so that's what we want to do here. First things first, make an L with your right hand, and you're going to put your thumb against the fingerboard about halfway through from where the top of the instrument is to the bottom of the fingerboard. So about halfway through here, put your thumb there. This is going to be your plucking finger, your index finger. Okay, so we're not going to use the bow, we're going to pluck for now. And you should know Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, um, so hopefully if you get a note wrong, you can adjust a little bit and figure it out. But I'll, I'll call out the, the fingers as we do this. So you've got your D string, A, first finger, and you can look here, and then put all four fingers down. You should know where these are from your catapults, left hand exercise. All four fingers down. All four fingers down. used to finding that first finger, but once you've got your fourth finger down, don't look, just peel them off. You should have been able to find those from the catapults. I took my tapes off because I couldn't stand them, but we can put them back on. Um, we're looking at D, A, 1, A, 4, 3, 1, D, right? And then A, 4, 3, 1, A, 4, 3, 1, D, A, 1, A, 4, 4, 3, 3, 1, 1, D. Um, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Let's do it again. D, D, A, A, one, one, A. All four. Four, four, three, three, one, one, D. A, A, four, four, three, three, one. A, A, four, four, three, three, one. D, D. stays down the whole time. Right? It becomes the anchor to the hand. As the fingers go up and down, we want them to stay over the top of the notes that they're going to play. Right? So the thumb becomes our stabilizer. Whether you're on the A string or the D string, we want that thumb to stay down the whole time. Um, try not to go into third finger plucking. Try not to have these hands out like a claw. Remember to make your L. Plant that thumb on the side of the fingerboard, and then you get to go on with that pluck. Um, all four fingers down and then peeling them off. If, they're having, if you're having a hard time with this or if you've got a young student you want to break it up into multiple steps, then the, the first thing to do would be to, to just get all four fingers down, see if there's enough strength in the pinky to get that string all the way down, and then just do this. We call these mini scales, right? Four, three, one, D. If you can do that, then you can probably do the rest of it. Also, some um, teachers will break it up into colors if the memorization isn't there. Or you could do, you know, you've got red, blue, and, you, and you've got the pattern of this. Is one pattern, and then there's another, and you can build it up um, in, uh, in 
and that way using flashcards or any number of things. Some students will spend a year on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So there is a lot of exercises that we could go into. If you're an older person, you'll find that you can just pretty much do it um, with a little bit of practice. So, left hand first. Try to master the left hand before you add the bow to play the variations. Don't pluck it too quickly. This is one of the mistakes people make. If it sit, Pluck it at the same tempo that you would sing it, right? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. You wouldn't do twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now I All right, just because you can do that doesn't mean that you should, because later on we're going to be doing some bow things that even slow this left hand down some more, because we'll need to concentrate on the right hand. All right, that's plucking twinkle, twinkle, little star. Check out the next video where we'll isolate the right hand, get the right hand going, and then um, finally we'll put them together in a practice video for you. All right, happy practicing, Chalice.